Amina's only dream is to be able to read and write in a safe house, as her worst nightmare is falling off her half-destroyed balcony, which she referred to as the home of destruction in Syria's Aleppo city. She stayed in a school when she was repeatedly displaced along with her family, as some schools in Aleppo city have turned into shelters for those who lost everything to the war. Now, a fall at any moment house is Amina and her family's sanctuary, as they don't have to pay a rent or anything to the actual owners who fled when the war was raging so close, just meters away from a formerly rebel-held area. خاف انه نتزحلط او نطب لتحت او تنضل البناي اظن بالوقت امي ما بتعرفنا نبرك هون تحطنا بالاوضه وتسكر علينا الباب مشان ما نطلع يعني نزحنا وما فتنا على المدرسه ما فتنا طاوله لما نزحنا كنا صغار يعني ما كنا كبار واهلي ما فوتونا على المدرسه خافوا علينا من هالغزايف اللي عم تنزل ومن هالضرب ما فوتونا على المدرسه Her family has nothing to eat for the day and the fridge is empty Amina said looking around with a giggle that reflects pain, not joy. Siham, the mother of Amina and eight other children, told Chinhua that she has no choice but to stay in this house, and that's all she can do. It's true that the war is over in the city of Aleppo, but its effect remains and can't be erased.